But among those leaders were drivers not so much interested in the Manx for its Open Championship status as for the European Championship points it offered. This is the Belgian Patrick Snyers, more than matching McRae's pace in the BMW M3, run by the Pro Drive team that also run Frank Sittner's car that heads the British Touring Car Championship. Snyers a leading content. Patrick Snyers had stretched out a lead of 34 seconds over McRae at the end of the first day, and it was easy to see why. Just watch this for a breathtaking display of forceful driving. The second day had the longest schedule of the three-day competition. Similar stages used, and the Belgian Snyers was confident that he knew them well. Foreign drivers are generally thought not to enjoy the fast, narrow, twisting tarmac stages so typical of the Manx. Snyers was clearly the exception, and the rest of the field were unable to make any inroads on his lead. The Castletown Spectator stage has now become an established part of the Manx. The stage was run at dusk this year, but neither the twilight, the harbour, the castle walls or the market square slowed the rally leader Snyers. Just ten stages on the final day, a chance for exhibition stuff from Patrick Snyers, whose victory gives him the European Championship lead. His only regret was Drugman's demise, which didn't allow him to open as much of a gap on second place man Tabaton as he would have wished. But a drive that was among the most impressive on the Isle of Man in recent years.